Have you ever wondered about the mysterious little gland nestled deep within your brain? A gland that ancient cultures revered as the seat of the soul. The third eye that holds the key to unlocking hidden wisdom and spiritual enlightenment? This tiny but mighty powerhouse is none other than the pineal gland, and it plays a crucial role in regulating your sleep, your dreams, and even your perception of reality itself. But here's the thing. Modern life is not kind to our pineal glands. From the fluoride in our water to the endless glow of screens and artificial lights, we're constantly bombarded with toxins and stimuli that can cause this delicate gland to become calcified, hardened, and less effective at its vital functions. It's like a door that's slowly rusting shut, cutting us off from the limitless potential and insight that lies beyond. And the consequences of a calcified pineal gland are no joke. Disrupted sleep, difficulty accessing higher states of consciousness, feeling disconnected from your intuition and purpose. These are just a few of the ways that a blocked third eye can manifest in your life. But here's the good news. You have the power to reverse this calcification and reawaken your pineal gland to its full, luminous potential. By making simple shifts in your lifestyle and incorporating ancient wisdom with cutting-edge science, you can decalcify this precious gland and tap into a wellspring of energy, clarity, and inspiration that you never knew existed. In this video, we'll dive deep into the mysteries of the pineal gland and explore the most powerful, proven methods for detoxifying and activating your body's natural stargate. We'll uncover the surprising truth about fluoride and other environmental toxins, and why even the most health-conscious among us are vulnerable to pineal gland calcification. We'll explore ancient practices like sun gazing and meditation, and reveal how modern technology like binaural beats and pulsed electromagnetic fields can supercharge your pineal gland function. Get ready to have your mind blown and your third eye cracked wide open. Because once you start implementing these strategies and experiencing the incredible benefits for yourself, you'll never look at sleep, dreams, or reality the same way again. Are you ready to unlock the full potential of your pineal gland and step into a new dimension of consciousness? Then keep watching, because in just a few minutes, you'll have the tools and knowledge you need to start your journey to a fully activated, deeply connected third eye. Let's dive in. 1. What is the pineal gland? Imagine for a moment that you're an ancient Egyptian philosopher gazing up at the stars and pondering the mysteries of the universe. You've heard whispers of a hidden eye that holds the key to unlocking the secrets of the cosmos, a gateway to higher realms of consciousness and spiritual awakening. Well, my friends, that mythical third eye is not just a metaphor, it's a very real part of your anatomy, and it's called the pineal gland. Now, you might be thinking, the pineal, what now? Don't worry, you're not alone. This tiny pine cone-shaped gland, nestled deep within the center of your brain, has long been overlooked by mainstream science. But the truth is, the pineal gland is one of the most important and fascinating organs in your body, and it plays a crucial role in regulating your sleep-wake cycles, your hormones, and even your perception of reality itself. So, what exactly does the pineal gland do? Well, its primary function is to produce and secrete melatonin, a hormone that helps regulate your body's internal clock or circadian rhythm. When the sun goes down and darkness falls, your pineal gland starts pumping out melatonin, signaling to your body that it's time to wind down and prepare for sleep. And when the first rays of sunlight hit your eyes in the morning, the pineal gland takes its cue to suppress melatonin production, helping you feel awake and alert. But the pineal gland's role goes far beyond just regulating sleep. In many spiritual and esoteric traditions, the pineal gland is associated with the third eye, or Ajna Chakra, a metaphysical energy center that is believed to be the seat of intuition, insight, and spiritual awakening. Some even believe that the pineal gland is capable of secreting other mystical compounds, such as DMT, dimethyltryptamine, 
a powerful psychedelic that has been called the spirit molecule. Now, I know what you're thinking. This all sounds a bit woo-woo, right? Like something out of a New Age self-help book or a science fiction novel. But the truth is, the pineal gland has been revered and studied by some of the greatest minds in history, from the ancient Egyptians and Greeks to Renaissance philosophers and modern-day neuroscientists. In fact, the French philosopher René Descartes, who famously declared, I think, therefore I am, believed that the pineal gland was the seat of the soul, the place where the physical body and the immaterial mind intersected. And while we may not go quite that far, there's no denying that the pineal gland plays a vital role in our physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. But here's the thing. Our modern lifestyles are not exactly conducive to a healthy, thriving pineal gland. From the fluoride in our drinking water to the constant barrage of artificial light from our screens and devices, we're exposed to a wide range of environmental toxins and stressors that can throw our delicate pineal gland out of balance. And when that happens, the consequences can be profound. A calcified, underactive pineal gland can lead to disrupted sleep patterns, hormonal imbalances, brain fog, depression, and a host of other physical and mental health issues. It can also make it harder for us to access higher states of consciousness, connect with our intuition and inner wisdom, and experience the kind of transcendent spiritual experiences that have been described by mystics and shamans throughout history. But fear not, my friend, all is not lost. In the next section, we'll dive deeper into the root causes of pineal gland dysfunction and explore some of the most powerful, scientifically proven strategies for detoxifying and reactivating this vital organ. So stay tuned, because the journey to a fully awakened third eye starts now, and trust me, you won't want to miss a single mind-blowing moment of it. 2. Pineal Gland Calcification Picture this. You're a detective tasked with solving the mystery of why so many people in the modern world are struggling with poor sleep, brain fog, and a general sense of disconnection from their intuition and purpose. You've got a hunch that the pineal gland might be involved, so you start digging deeper, piecing together clues from ancient wisdom traditions and cutting-edge scientific research. And that's when you stumble upon a shocking discovery, a silent epidemic that's been slowly calcifying and shutting down pineal glands across the globe, without most people even realizing it. It's a phenomenon known as pineal gland calcification, and it's been linked to a wide range of health issues, from sleep disorders and hormonal imbalances to cognitive decline and spiritual disconnection. So, what exactly is pineal gland calcification and how does it happen? Well, it all comes down to a sneaky little mineral called fluoride. You see, fluoride is a highly reactive substance that has a strong affinity for calcium, which is a key component of the pineal gland. When fluoride enters the body, either through drinking water, toothpaste, or other sources, it can accumulate in the pineal gland and form calcium phosphate crystals, effectively hardening the gland and reducing its ability to function properly. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't fluoride supposed to be good for our teeth? Well, yes and no. While fluoride has been shown to help prevent tooth decay, the truth is that we're being exposed to far more of it than our bodies were ever designed to handle. In fact, the fluoride levels in most public water supplies are up to 50 times higher than what's found naturally in the environment. And that's not even counting the fluoride we're getting from toothpaste, mouthwash, and other dental products. But it gets even worse. You see, fluoride isn't the only toxin that can contribute to pineal gland calcification. Other common culprits include heavy metals like mercury, lead, and aluminum, pesticides and herbicides, artificial food additives and preservatives, electromagnetic radiation from cell phones, Wi-Fi, and other electronic devices. Suddenly, that morning latte and late night scroll through social media don't seem so harmless anymore, do they? But here's the really scary part. Pineal gland calcification is not just some fringe theory or hippie woo-woo nonsense. 
It's a very real, scientifically documented phenomenon that has been observed in countless studies and autopsies. In fact, research has shown that up to 40% of adults over the age of 40 have significant levels of pineal gland calcification, and that number only increases with age. And the consequences of a calcified pineal gland are no joke. When this tiny but mighty gland becomes hardened and less responsive, it can throw off your entire body's delicate balance, leading to insomnia and other sleep disorders. Hormonal imbalances, including melatonin and cortisol, brain fog, memory loss, and cognitive decline, depression, anxiety, and other mood disorders. Difficulty accessing higher states of consciousness and spiritual connection. In other words, a calcified pineal gland can leave you feeling tired, wired, and disconnected from your inner wisdom and intuition. Not exactly the recipe for a happy, healthy, and fulfilling life, right? Now, at this point, you might be feeling a bit overwhelmed or even downright terrified. I get it. The idea that our modern lifestyles are slowly calcifying one of the most important glands in our bodies is a lot to wrap your head around. But don't despair just yet, my friends. Because in the next section, we're going to dive into some of the most powerful, scientifically proven strategies for decalcifying and reactivating your pineal gland. From ancient practices like sunggazing and meditation to modern technologies like red light therapy and frequency healing, we'll explore a wide range of tools and techniques that can help you tap into the full potential of your third eye. So stay tuned, because the journey to a fully activated, deeply connected pineal gland is just getting started. And trust me, once you experience the incredible benefits for yourself, You'll never look at your body, your mind, or your reality the same way again. 3. Supporting Pineal Gland Health Now, I know what you might be thinking. But wait, isn't the pineal gland just a tiny little organ in my brain? How much impact can it really have on my overall health and well-being? Well, let me tell you. The pineal gland may be small, but it is mighty. In fact, some ancient traditions even referred to it as the seat of the soul, the gateway to higher consciousness and spiritual awakening. But here's the thing. In our modern world, with all its toxins, stressors, and artificial lights and screens, it's all too easy for the pineal gland to become calcified, sluggish, and disconnected from its true potential. And when that happens, it can lead to a whole host of physical, mental, and spiritual health issues, from insomnia and hormonal imbalances, to brain fog, depression, and difficulty accessing our intuition and inner wisdom. So, what can we do to support our pineal glands and keep them functioning at their best? Well, my curious friends, there are a number of simple yet powerful steps we can take to nourish and protect this precious gland. Let's dive in, shall we? First and foremost, one of the most important things we can do for our pineal glands is to reduce our exposure to fluoride. As we discussed in the last section, fluoride is a sneaky little toxin that can accumulate in the pineal gland and cause calcification, effectively hardening the gland and reducing its ability to function properly. So, how do we avoid fluoride? Well, one simple step is to switch to a non-fluoridated toothpaste and mouthwash. Look for natural fluoride-free options at your local health food store, or even make your own using ingredients like coconut oil, baking soda, and essential oils. Another way to reduce fluoride exposure is to invest in a high-quality water filter that can remove fluoride and other toxins from your drinking water. Look for filters that use reverse osmosis, activated alumina, or bone char filtration, as these methods have been shown to be effective at removing fluoride. But reducing fluoride exposure is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to supporting pineal gland health. Another key factor is getting enough natural sunlight exposure during the day. You see, the pineal gland is highly sensitive to light, and exposure to sunlight helps regulate its production of melatonin, the hormone that helps control our sleepwalky cyclists. So, make it a point to get outside and soak up some rays each day, especially in the morning when the sun's rays are the most beneficial. 
And if you can't get outside, consider investing in a light therapy box or full-spectrum light bulbs to help mimic the effects of natural sunlight. But sunlight isn't the only type of light that can support pineal gland health. Recent research has also shown that red and near-infrared light therapy, also known as photobiomodulation, can help stimulate the pineal gland and boost its function. Red and near-infrared light have been shown to penetrate deep into the brain, where they can stimulate the production of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, the energy currency of our cells. This, in turn, can help improve the function of the pineal gland and other brain structures, leading to better sleep, mood, and cognitive function. So, how can you incorporate red and near-infrared light therapy into your pineal gland supporting routine? One option is to invest in a high-quality light therapy device, such as a Juve or a Biomax, which can deliver targeted doses of red and near-infrared light to your brain and body. Another option is to use a near-infrared sauna, which can help boost circulation, detoxify the body, and stimulate the pineal gland with its warm, soothing rays. Just be sure to stay hydrated and listen to your body, as saunas can be intense and may not be suitable for everyone. But light therapy isn't the only way to support pineal gland health. Another powerful tool in our arsenal is meditation, a practice that has been used for thousands of years to cultivate inner peace, clarity, and spiritual connection. You see, the pineal gland is highly sensitive to the effects of stress, and chronic stress can lead to a whole host of health issues, including pineal gland calcification and dysfunction. But meditation has been shown to help reduce stress, calm the mind, and promote a sense of inner peace and well-being. So, if you're not already incorporating meditation into your daily routine, now might be the perfect time to start. Even just a few minutes of mindful breathing or silent contemplation each day can make a big difference in the health and vitality of your pineal gland. And let's not forget about the power of nutrition when it comes to supporting pineal gland health. Certain foods and supplements have been shown to help nourish and protect the pineal gland, while others can actually contribute to its calcification and dysfunction. Some of the best foods for pineal gland health include chlorella and spirulina. These nutrient-dense algae are rich in chlorophyll, which can help detoxify the body and support healthy pineal gland function. Iodine-rich foods. Iodine is a critical nutrient for pineal gland health, and foods like seaweed, kelp, and seafood are excellent sources. Antioxidant-rich foods. Foods like berries, leafy greens, and dark chocolate are packed with antioxidants that can help protect the pineal gland from oxidative stress and damage. And when it comes to supplements, some of the most effective for pineal gland health include melatonin. While the pineal gland produces its own melatonin, supplementing with this hormone can help support healthy sleep patterns and circadian rhythms. MSM, methyl sulfonyl methane. This sulfur-rich compound has been shown to help decalcify the pineal gland and support its healthy function. Boron. This trace mineral has been shown to help remove fluoride from the body, which can help prevent pineal gland calcification. Of course, as with any supplement regimen, it's always best to consult with a qualified healthcare practitioner before starting anything new, to ensure that it's safe and appropriate for your individual needs and circumstances. Well, there you have it, my fellow pineal gland aficionados, a comprehensive guide to supporting the health and vitality of this tiny but mighty gland. From reducing fluoride exposure and getting enough sunlight to incorporating meditation and nutrition into your daily routine, there are a multitude of ways to nourish and protect your pineal gland and unlock its full potential for physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. But here's the thing. Supporting your pineal gland isn't just about improving your own health and happiness. It's also about tapping into a deeper sense of connection and purpose and aligning yourself with the greater wisdom and intelligence of the universe. You see, when our pineal glands are calcified and dysfunctional, it's like we're walking through life with blinders on, unable to fully perceive the beauty, mystery, and magic that surrounds us at every turn. But when we take steps to nourish and support this precious gland, 
It's like we're opening a portal to a whole new dimension of consciousness and awareness. Suddenly, the world comes alive in ways we never could have imagined. Colors become more vivid, sounds become more ethereal, and the synchronicities and signs that guide us on our path become impossible to ignore. We start to feel a deeper sense of connection to ourselves, to each other, and to the greater web of life that supports and sustains us all. And isn't that what we all ultimately crave? A sense of belonging, of purpose, of connection to something greater than ourselves? Well, my friends, the journey to a fully activated, deeply connected pineal gland is the journey to unlocking those very things. So, as we come to the end of our time together today, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your own relationship with your pineal gland. Are you giving it the love, attention, and nourishment it needs to thrive? Or are you, like so many of us, unknowingly contributing to its calcification and dysfunction? If the latter is true, then there's no shame or blame in that. We're all doing the best we can with the knowledge and resources we have. But now that you know better, you can do better. And I promise you, the rewards of a healthy, activated pineal gland are well worth the effort. So go forth, my friends, and start implementing some of the strategies we've discussed today. Start small, with just one or two changes, and build from there. And remember, the journey to a fully awakened third eye is a journey of a lifetime. There's no finish line to cross, no final destination to reach, it's all about the daily choices and practices that support your ongoing growth, evolution, and expansion. And who knows? Maybe one day, as you're sitting in meditation or gazing up at the stars, you'll feel a sudden burst of clarity and insight, a knowing that goes beyond words or rational understanding. And in that moment, you'll realize that your pineal gland has been there all along, waiting patiently for you to awaken to its wisdom and guidance. So here's to the journey, my fellow truth seekers. May your pineal glands be healthy, your third eyes be clear, and your hearts be open to the infinite possibilities that await you on the other side. Thank you for joining me today, and I can't wait to see where your journeys take you next.